So, welcome back. We'll start by looking at the US uh, dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally a little bit, pull back a little bit. So it's been a lot of a, a lot of choppiness, to be fairly honest. But if you look at the technical indicators for the US dollar index, they are looking uh, significantly better. And that means that we'll most likely go towards uh, the 50 moving average uh, tomorrow or on, on Thursday. And uh, most likely also on Friday, we'll basically test the 50 moving average, even probably break the 50 moving average because we have been just, well, up and down towards the 50 moving average now for, for several weeks, actually months. So at this point, CCI is positive, Sarcastic is positive, the MACD hasn't turned around yet, and the RSI is fairly flat at this point. But this, of course, means that it, we will see prices of uh, commodities pressure downwards, both for uh, commodities and for precious metals and also indices and stocks. So expect um, this to rise and the other commodities to technically fall. Not all of them, but most of them. So if you look at oil, we can see that we continue this uh, rally and this is just due to the coronavirus vaccine. And this has nothing to do with the world economy because the world economy is still in the same uh, shape as it was before the announcement of the vaccine. So at this point, we are looking at a resistant area right here. We're actually at exactly on the edge. So we may pass this a little bit. That is possible that we will pierce this uh, resistant area, but we are not going to rally significantly more from this level. If we do, then we are going to target these highs of 43.74, and th that would be an enormous resistant area. They will have a lot of sellers coming in. I expect a lot of sellers coming in tomorrow for this market. Uh, we have been trading up uh, back and forwards. I did um, start selling. Um, uh, you know, it's not impossible to say when to start sell, but I did start selling, uh, selling before, uh, and I put out a sell signal as well because I do expect us to basically fall from here. It may take some time. It may take a few trading days, and that means that... Um, if you want to take more risk, then you could adjust your stop loss at, at this point. Uh, but this is not going to be a massive rally to the upside. There just isn't the, um, there just isn't the uh, demand in the world economy for a rise of this sort. So this is pure speculation. Furthermore, most of the stocks that rose airliners, um, and cruise liners and so on, they will still be out of work for most of them. They will still be running on, on very low capacity for several months. So therefore, demand for this will still be extremely low. If it rises even more, I'll continue basically shorting it all the way up towards the $43 range. I don't expect us to get even close to that. Um, if you fall from here, of course, the 50 moving average will be supportive. Then we'll have the 200 moving average, and this will also coincide with these previous support levels. So expect this range of 37 uh, to be massive support. So if you look at oil, not without oil, natural gas, I'm sorry. We can see that we have rallied finally, and this was expected. We have been trading with this trend line here for no this trend line here for several uh, months and we are still trade uh, trending with this trend line so at this point we'll find quite a lot of resistance here around this area so just in case if somebody wants to um, cash in on their trade this is uh, a a possibility that we'll have a pullback from here. Um, but the target is this, is the very highs. So technical indicators on the daily chart are looking very promising. Both the Zocastic, the CCI, RSI have all turned around. It's basically MACD that is showing signs of life to the upside. 
So it may see uh, a little bit of choppiness, but we are going higher from here. This has proven to be a significant support. So it's just a matter of, uh, of whether or not you want to hold it until this level or the very highs. So it may take, I don't know, probably uh, it could take uh, a few days. It could also take a week, but that is up to every individual when they basically want to cash into their, into their profit. So if you look at copper, we can see that we have been all over the place with copper. We fell, then rally again, and so on and so on. This is, at the moment, an impossible market to basically trade. We are in the very highs, and the lows are around here at the 50 moving average. And right now, we're straight in the middle. No interest in buying this, no interest in selling this. Uh, probably if we rally all the way to the top again and then uh, then we basically fall, then it's a possible short time short. But if you just look at the technical indicators, they are saying absolutely nothing. They are Some of them are bullish, some of them are bearish. They are technically useless at this point. So we need a clear sign, either break these very highs in order to go much higher, which is very unlikely, or break these lows to go significantly lower. Otherwise, this is just an impossible market to trade at the moment. So if you look at gold, gold rallied a little bit and then gave back some of its gains. If you look at the technical indicators for gold, they are all very uh, negative at this point. So we mo most likely will go lower. Uh, we are right here at the same point as we have been for such a long time. This is not a market that you should buy at this point. You can just see what happened last time we started rallying here. We just, just got absolutely hammered uh, right here. This market is not ready yet to, to rally to the, to the very highs. We need to go towards the 1800 level in order to enter this market. And therefore, I haven't made any trades in gold. This is just something I'm just waiting for. We need to basically pull back towards the 1800 in order to buy, or we need to get through this entire resistance area in order to buy. And therefore, the market for gold is just not attractive at this point. So if you look at silver, silver is the same thing. We need to pull back towards the $20 range in order for, for this market to be attractive. Uh, there's just too much uh, resistance above at the point, and therefore we need a pullback. So it's just a matter of waiting in order to buy into this market. So analysis at the moment are fairly short, and the reason why they are short is because there just isn't that opportunity to enter the market in most of these commodities at this point. I'll have a conclusion at the, in, at the end. So if you look at cocoa, cocoa is starting to pull back. So this is what I was talking about yesterday. We are rallying towards the 200 moving average, in best case, 50 moving average, and then pulling back. You can just see this is a very negative sign. And we can also see that the technical indicators are showing that we are about to turn around. So this could be a possible trade. It could be. Uh, we are trading the highs here of 2.7 and the lows of 2.0. And what is happening here is that we are touching major resistance at this point, and you technically could enter a selling um, uh, a sell position here uh, and target these lows or even the very lows. That is possible. At this point, I think we're just going up, down, up and even further down, so we're making lower lows in order to get to this area before we rally to the upside again. Technical indicators for cocoa are still uh, mixed. Stochastic is uh, bullish, uh, MACD is bullish, CCI is getting very negative, and so is the RSI. So that is a possibility. If it, if it gets close to the 200 moving average or the 50 moving average, definitely possibility to sell it to the very lows with a stop loss right above. So if you look at platinum, so platinum still is trading 
within the 50 and the 200, 200 moving average. And we haven't done that since, um, well, the end of September. So same story uh, every single day. We have a lot of resist resistance above. We have a massive amount of support underneath. So uh, until we basically break out from this 50 or 200 moving average, this is a market that everybody should stay very, very far away from. So it is not uh, not a very good market to trade at the moment. It's, it's just pure gamble at this point. So if you look at sugar. So we're starting to gradually go to the downside. We're getting these, these pullbacks and then rally again and so on. But it's just a matter of time before we go all the way down to the 50 moving average and then we can bounce. If you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. So we have the MACD that is looking very bearish, the stochastic that is bullish, and the uh, CCI and RSI that are bearish. So it's inevitable that we are going towards the 50 moving average and then we can basically buy into that, similar to the trade that we did for natural gas. But it will most likely will take a few trading days, um, uh, maybe a week, in order to get down to this area. A buy or sell at this point is just um, not a very good idea. So last but not least, it is weed. So we started rallying again. We came down to this area, and this is the same area that has proven to be significant support several times in the, over here here and now again here so whether or not we can get to down towards the 50 moving average is a question we have this oh sorry that's wrong we have this support line here we have breached it a little bit if you just write it similar to that that we are basically on the edge of this support line and also in this crossing so this may well have been the very lows that we have been looking for. Um, technical indicators, they are also turning around at this point. So it is technically possible to enter a uh, uh, buy position here with a target of these very highs. So that is a fairly good trade. There's still a lot of room to the upside. You can see the RSI is only at 54. Uh, technical indicators are turning around, so that is possible. And with the basic stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average, because if you break down here, then you would basically expect the 50 moving average to be support. So that is a possible trade. Um, I, I doubt whether or not I will take this trade, but uh, for your consideration, this is a possible trade at this point. So in this commodity analysis, there are only very few trades that I would consider entering. For example, oil is interesting, weed is interesting, uh, but most of the, and, and at the at this point as well, natural gas is possible to uh, jump in for a buy. Otherwise, the other trades, you technically ne need to wait for gold to, to, uh, to pull back even more. No idea when that is gonna happen, it will eventually happen. But uh, but trade at the brink, don't trade in the middle because that is uh, the odds of having it correct. It's basically gambling. It's 50-50. So hopefully this is uh, helpful and um, hopefully somebody made a lot of money with trading natural gas. So good luck and thank you very much.